Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Revit Wiz here. So today I'll be showing you how to splice reinforcing. You can see that we've spliced it here. This is in Revit 2024. And then this is just a 3D view of it. And then if you go to Revit 2025, we go to the layout, you can see that it's more staggered. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then just have a look in the 3D view. So there you go. Please stay tuned. Okay, so let's go and place the reinforcing in Revit 2024. So you're going to click on your slab. You're going to say rebar. Say OK. And because I know I'm going to splice this, I want a hook on the left and a hook on the right. So I'm going to just choose a shape code that has one hook on one side so i'm going to say near cover reference and then perpendicular to cover so i'm just going to zoom in here press space bar on your keyboard so now this is placed at the top of your slab but the hook is pointing upwards i know that because you can see the dark dot that means we're cutting through that dot then if i just continue with space bar one more time there you go so now you can see it's pointing downwards okay so now that we've done that you can go and click on the rebar and i'm just going to take this and move it backwards like that and for me the easiest way to just get the same type of rebar on the right hand side is you click on the rebar set you go here to draw mirror access just make sure that is placed on or that is ticked to say copy and I'm looking for the midpoint of my slab. There we go. And then you click there, you bring it down at 90 and you click again. And there I've created my two sets of rebar. But now I want to splice this. So let's maybe just move this in a little bit, something like that. Then I'm going to click on this rebar set. I'm going to go here to the top where it says edit constraints. And I'm going to click on the rebar this face here and I'm going to tell it I want you to snap towards this line here which is the edge of the rebar on the other side and I'm going to say or oh, click then it's going to tell me that's the distance that it is away from these rebar edges so I'm going to click here and I'm going to say zero okay now it's flush with one another but I want the bars on the right to go and splice over towards the left. So how you're going to do this is you're going to type in the number here of 650 or whatever you use for your splice length. Obviously, it depends on your bar diameter. And I say enter. Now you can see the, the bars on the left, the face of the rebar ends on this line. And the bars on the right, I've just said, okay, I want you to go 650 mils to the left of that. So now I'm just going to say finish. Now you can see it's spliced. So just to indicate this a bit better, I'm going to make the spacing 150, just so that you can see how it has been spliced. So if I put in a dimension here, from here to there, you can see it's 650 mils. So let's just go into the 3D so you can see this better. You can see that we have spliced these bars. So if you click on this bars on the left and you want to move these bars maybe to the left, you can see that all of the bars move with even the bars on the right because we have constrained them. Okay, so that's how easy you splice reinforcing. Now for splicing reinforcing in Revit 2025, which is actually very, very easier. They've created a new add-on in the rebar ribbon. So what you're going to do here is also place your rebar, but instead of doing two sets, I'm just going to do the one, which is the shape code 35, spacing at 200 and then perpendicular to cover, near cover reference. Okay, so now I'm just going to zoom in once again. I'm going to press space on my keyboard until I see the bar facing down like that. And I'm going to click. Now that I've done that, I'm going to click on the rebar set. And you go up here to the right. You can see here it says splice rebar. 
now we're just going to pick a line wherever we would want to so let's just pick a line somewhere there and automatically it splices the reinforcing for us so if you click on this line you can actually go at a drop down menu here these are the preset splice lengths and uh, splice setups that's created by autodesk so if you click on the 60d staggered it's going to look something like this i also prefer this method because it's just the way to do it um, so you can actually go and click here and say edit and then you can go and um, change the lap length so if you duplicate this let's say we want to make it 50 times diameter shift bars in bar line that's correct stagger length multiplier you can change this if you want and then the lap length is going to be 50 so apply and okay you can see how it's changed the lap length so if i go here that is 800 so this is currently a diameter of 16 the bar so 16 times 50 gives you the 800 so let's just finish this so if i had to click on these bars and maybe change the diameter to let's say y12 it automatically changes the splice length so this is a really such a good add-on that's created by autodesk let's just go have a look on the 3d there you can see and it's even even placed just next to the other bar which also makes it so much better for detailing purposes and viewing purposes so yeah guys that's how you splice reinforcing and those are two different types of splices that you can use if you don't have the latest rivet version of 2025 you must go and do it the call it manual method in 2024 thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed this please if you would want more tutorials like this please like and subscribe and once again thank you for all your support cheers guys